Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Harald Duck and we are playing Hearts of Iron 4 on veteran difficulty as the Germans. Welcome back. It is the 18th of uh, September 1939. We are not that far away from the original um, date for the outbreak of World War I. Um, but we're not quite ready. We redesigned our infantry divisions in the last episode. And... Uh, yeah, we, we've got some stuff to do. I definitely have to queue up. Oh no, we already did that. Okay, so I got the toad on, toad on the air. Um, where's the normal artillery? Where's that? Down there. All right then. That's fine. Yeah, we need a lot more military factories uh, to happen, actually. I hope it works. I hope it works out. That would be good. Um... Uh, we are... Oh, yeah, we are really hungry for tungsten now. Definitely need to remedy that. Um, who will trade me for tungsten? Soviet Union. We are importing everything they have. <laughs> All right, then. Who's the next person that will give me tungsten? France. Okay, France is really happy to give me tungsten as well. Nice. Thanks, France. <laughs> Supplying resources for German war efforts. <laughs> oh well, I think they they think they are safe behind their Maginot line. And it might not be wrong of them. But uh, we can always go through Belgium and the Netherlands to get um, to get into Paris. That is what we're going to do. And um, yeah, things are going well. We need a lot of stuff to be ready for war. We need quite a bit of light tanks. Uh, we need a lot of medium tanks as well. Oh, we've got the improved artillery. That's nice. Let's go for the anti-air upgrade. That can't hurt. Um, what else are we researching? The construction is good. I mean, might be kind of wasteful. It's ahead of time, but we got the 50% um, ahead of time, or the 50% research time reduction bonus, so I, I went for it. Why not? We got the Schwerpunkt. That is also something being researched with a bonus. I want the radio for the signal company, and we're waiting for the field hospital. That's going to be um, worth it. And then we're also recruiting um, our Panzer armies. I mean, at least they can train. Um, we also got some Panzer armies done. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. That's good. I could train them now. I don't want to, really. But this is going to be... The first Panzer army is going to be the, the army that trains these guys. And then the other armies... Yeah, well, I might start to train them. I mean, we need the army experience. Can't really hurt. The first Panzer army is going to be the army that our Panzers train in, and then they get transferred to the second and the third Panzer army. Just need to get a move on. At some point, um, the Soviets will look towards getting Poland and the Baltic states. If we don't, if we are too slow, then they're going to get it. And I really don't want that to happen. That's That's just bad. But yeah, we're going to get Yugoslavia soon, or I hope we do. <laughs> it can go, it can go wrong as well. Okay, so we're done with that. So we always knew that you, the Yugoslav state carved out of the Habsburg Empire. Habsburg spelled wrong, by the way. It shouldn't be a P. It should be a B. It was an artificial created fate, never to last. Um. The ethnic resentment simmering under the surface has boiled over and the state is falling apart. We must step in to rectify the decision. We're gonna annex all of it. This is gonna jack up the world tension by a lot. Could also make a Croatian puppet and annex the rest. That I think is what um, Germany did historically. I mean, these options are less world tension, but at this point I don't really care about the world tension anymore. Um, so, uh, recent territorial losses have caused fractures within the Yugoslav state, leading to ethnic conflict and weakening of central authority. 
Germany has stepped into the growing vacuum and chosen to declare a protectorate on the rump of Yugoslavia. Germany shows Europe her power. Yeah, at this point, at this point, the others know that we're coming. <laughs> um, let's go for the second Ljubljana award. We could go for war with Greece. And uh, we get the event Carve Up Greece. Uh, uh, event gives the possibility to demand land for German Reich or a worthy ally. I actually want the land. So let's let's go with that one. Uh, we're going to pop it Greece. They're going to be somewhat useful. I mean, they're not great, but they'll do something for us. And we've got a bunch of new factories now. You can see that we got a fourth stack. Uh, we need way more tungsten. Um, why is that? Because we got a lot of factories over here for our medium SP uh, self-propelled artillery. We're getting one per day now. That's good. We need definitely more of them, but it's it's going fairly well, I would say. Producing a little bit more medium tanks that we need. Producing 15 light tanks per day. We're producing 10 motorized divisions per day. Do we have any need for motorized divisions? No, we already have 3.4k of them. I'm not sure that we need that many. Could go a bit lower on them. Especially now that we are not using the fast Panzer Division um, templates. I guess we're going to go down. Let's go down to one. That's fine. And then we can use that production capacity somewhere else. Yeah, that's looking good. That's um, industrial capacity better spent. We need to get up on the medium SP artillery ASAP, basically. And uh, we also want to upgrade our infantry equipment. That needs to happen. And, oh yeah, holy crap. We have a lot of tungsten deficit, but we're gonna trade for it. Who is willing to trade some tungsten? Uh, we need 23. Oh, we would we would miss one tungsten here. I mean, I guess I'll do it. Who else is willing to trade me some tungsten? Peru? Where? Portugal? They are not really that willing. <laughs> Could go for Japan. They're only going to give me 11 for two factories, so that's kind of bad. Nope. Um, I mean, I could go for Greece. Just buy one. Yeah, do that. And Japan, we're also going to buy one. How much do we need now? I mean, let's, let's just buy the rest from Portugal. Know that. That isn't right. Just gonna wait for a second. Okay, so now we need 15. Uh, let's go for two from Portugal, and that's that's about it. Okay, very nice. Uh, can still mortify my government. Okay, so I'm gonna do that now. Chief of Army. Now this choice is a bit difficult. We could go for more division attack. I think we want to go for division organization. Um, because the Panzers have a very low amount of organization. If you have a look into our Panzer division over here, we have 31. And you can see that with each armored battalion, that goes down, right? Because we are adding units that have slow, uh, low organization. While um, these guys, they have a high organization. Um, the organization of your division always is sort of an average of the units in there. Well, infantry division, very high organization. But if we were to take that guy, that would increase our organization by quite a bit. 8%, that's nothing to sneeze at. We could also go for the higher division speed that we got from the army innovations. That's also not bad, moving faster for the Blitzkrieg. But army organization, organization basically determines how long your units can attack before they have to to rest for a bit. So I think we want to go for that one. Mm, yeah, 
I think so. And that should actually buff up our organization now. 31. 38.7. Would like to see what what if uh, what that affects. Um, let's go for this guy and let's have a look at that one. Yeah, our, our organization is pretty high, I would say. I mean, we're still missing some tanks. Maybe that is going to correct that a bit. I'm going to unpause now. Oh, yeah, and yeah, okay, yeah. We're moving towards the right towards the right thing. We're gonna be done with the Schwerpunkt in a bit, which increases the organization for tanks. That is the main benefit of going down the um, Blitzkrieg um, route. Having more organization on your tanks allows them to do more. Okay, need more tungsten. That's expected. So, Portugal. How about you... What? Why do we need so much tungsten? Oh yeah, okay then. That should be fine. Hooray, so now we got the um, Schwerpunkt, which uh, basically means um, concentrating all your force at one point, breaking through the enemy line, and then encircling the enemy. So now we're going to go for the real Blitzkrieg, which allows us to use the breakthrough attack. Um, refers to the strategy of fast-moving armored forces supported by mobile infantry and air support breaking through enemy lines to disorganize and encircle them. That worked very well for Germany in a way, but um, didn't work so well against um, Soviet the Soviet Union just because it is such a vast um, land and because the German generality banked too much uh, on the Blitzkrieg and too little on the vastness, so they didn't really provision thoroughly for winter war and all that, especially in the very first of the winter and in the very first attack um, in Operation Barbarossa. They really hadn't planned on on fighting until until the winter actually broke out. And uh, that caused a lot of German soldiers to freeze to death because they didn't have any yeah, any winter stuff. <laughs> as crazy as that might sound. Never start a land war in Russia. Just don't do it. It's dumb. Um, oh yeah, we're getting there with the towed artillery. That, that looks good. So then we can dial down a bit on it. We're not really using towed artillery as real, um, real battalions in our divisions. We could. We could, but uh, they are not as good as our self-propelled um, medium artillery because these guys add hardness to these units and are pretty useful. Uh, and we need even more tungsten. Japan is not doing what it should do. Well, Japan, sorry that I have to break it to you, but um, we're going to get our tungsten from someone else. Yeah, that's just how this goes. You wanted it, you're getting it. Um, let's go to Portugal for getting more tungsten. What else are we missing? Nothing, so that should go away. Yes, it did. Very nice, very nice. So we're slowly moving towards um, fulfilling our demands. We're pretty good on light tanks by now. Um, 70 days for that shortage. We're pumping out 15 per day, That's that's Pretty good. Also medium tanks. I'm happy with that. 10 medium tanks per day. It's gonna take us a while to produce 5,000 tanks nonetheless. But uh, yeah, we're getting there. I'm just trying to produce um, 69 units of, uh, 69 divisions of, of panzers so that I can have three panzer armies. And that should be enough to take on basically anything by land. Um, I know that the Soviet, Soviet Union has a huge amount of divisions, but it won't really help them. Uh, quality troops is what we need, not quantity. I wonder if I should reduce the amount of production that goes into the light tanks a bit. 
I mean, I guess I will as soon as we reach sort of an equilibrium. It's not really worth it to fiddle around too much with the allocation of um, factories because you lose a lot of efficiency. But on the other hand, we have more important needs. Hmm. What was that? Oh yeah, we need more resources, we need more tungsten. Um, Portugal, would you be so kind? Thank you. And again, what now? Oh, and we reached a point where our oil isn't enough anymore. Well, we haven't been producing more synthetic refineries. I'm not going to go after the oil right now. I might in a bit, but I'm not going to do that right now. It's not as important. At least we now have two full production lines of medium uh, self-propelled artillery. Hospital, field hospital is gonna be done very soon. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about switching, switching the amount of factories. Oh, it seems like the oil is missing for the light tanks. Well, that, that's not really a problem. Toad anti-air is going to be a problem though. Definitely need to get there. And I think we also need um, to upgrade the Toad artillery to Toad artillery 2. So that's somewhat good. Can we see the total amount of uh, upgrade need? Where's that? Come on, artillery. Total need is filled. It should show me the the upgrade need though. Do we have to upgrade that? That's odd. Hooray! We got the field hospital. Very good. Very important. Um, I could go for that one, but I think that we can go for these weapons now. Well, they are 0 0.01 years ahead. I guess I'm not really going to care about it too much. That's gonna increase the attack. That's gonna increase the defense. Mm. I should also go for encryption and decryption. That's important. It really is. Um, I would like to go for the signal company, but that's not going to happen as of yet. Um, this is 100 days, 152 days, but Encrypting stuff is is incredibly important. I'd also really go like to go for the assembly line production. Another 20% production efficiency is going to be very, very tasty for us. Very tasty. If I take it now, I'm gonna have it in a year. So 1940. At the end of 1940, we're gonna get another 20% efficiency. I could make quite a difference. Do you have anything that is more important than that? Certainly not these. It's just 5%, 5% having our divisions on the ground is a bit more important than that. Uh, I need to go towards researching some air stuff fairly soon. I'm gonna go towards that focus as soon as we are done with Greece. Um, decryption, encryption, that isn't really time dependent. We can still do that while we're at war. That is that is not something that we have to build. So I'm going to ignore it. I could go for that one, reducing the research time by 5%. That might not be too bad of an idea going for that. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We need that one. 5%. It's quite a bit. We're gonna have to research stuff for a long time. And oil, tungsten, yeah, whatever. So we're only 500 units of light tanks short. Um, but we're still using we're still using old tanks, right? No, it's just it's just leopard. Or is that the production? So that is the stockpile. Odd. No, it is not. We just started deploying units. Um, 
We haven't really made a dent in our need for the medium self-propelled artillery. And we also have to trade away our civilian factories. In fact, I have to I have to start constructing stuff. So we've got a couple new states, so let's do that. And then let's go for the military factories over here. Let's go for that one as well. Yeah, that, that's looking good, I would say. Looking good. At some point, we might actually have to research um, another level of the synthetic refineries. Um, if you remember, you don't really get more output from the synthetic refineries, but you can just build more. I think the tooltip could be a little bit clearer over here, but oh well. So, yeah, let's go for that. I do like that the world tension stays low. Uh, normally Japan is the real crazy person here. But it seems that in this game China is doing a really good job of pushing Japan down uh, back. And that, yeah, that, that's working well. That's really working well because now they can't really do anything to annoy the rest of the world. And that helps us by um, keeping a low profile. So, yeah, that's good. Still got insufficient resources. In eight days we're gonna get our anti-air upgrade. Oh, okay, so Japanese diplomats in Berlin. New partnership is developing beyond between Tokyo and Berlin. Negotiations have begun for a pact between the two states, citing both strategic interests and shared values. While it remains to be seen what, if anything, comes from these negotiations, the prospect of a friendship between some of the strongest military forces on each hemisphere is a cause for celebration for their allies and a cause to worry for their many enemies. This will make us stronger. Well, I doubt that. We're not going to go for them. But we're done with the second Ljubljana award. Carve up Greece. Bulgaria has seen territory that she considered her own hand to Greece after both the Second Balkan War and the World War. And if we were to right this wrong, we would bind them to us. However, if they are not strong enough to claim it on their own, are they worthy enough? Are they a worthy enough ally for us? We need to earn our friendship, I would say. Just second Ljubljana award, no land. <laughs> That's gonna piss them off. <laughs> I could give them some land, but I definitely, I want a stronger Greece, so they need to earn our friendship. I'm gonna attack Bulgaria at some point and add them to the Reich. So now we're going to go for the fate of Greece. So let's do that before Italy attacks Greece, um, because we, we want them um, to trade us that tungsten and all that. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to end it here, I think. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, please give me a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, then please consider subscribing to the channel. I do hope that you join me next time. We are nearing the um, hot phase in the war, just um, busy producing some of the stuff that will make our infantry divisions into very strong units indeed. Yeah, hope you join me for that. Thanks and bye bye.